so Fungi Forest was a level in Donkey Kong 64. This level was originally going to be in Banjo-Kazooie, but was later moved to Donkey Kong 64 instead. This was a very unique level, as you traveled it during the day and during the night. Some areas were only accessible during the day, while others during the night, and vice versa. Some enemies would only appear during certain times of the day. In order to change the level's time, the DK crew would have to climb a giant tree containing a cuckoo clock. That cuckoo clock had a switch that would turn the level either to day or to night. We can't really do that in Super Mario Maker. Well, kind of. So here is my recreation of Fungi Forest and Super Mario Maker. So I decided to make this level using the Super Mario Brothers theme just because of the amiibo costumes. Here are all those giant mushrooms you could climb in the level in Donkey Kong 64. And this smaller mushroom over here is supposed to be those bouncy mushrooms you could jump on. Here are the tree stumps you could climb in order to get on top of the tree. These are supposed to be the switches in Donkey Kong 64 that you had to hit in order to make the level day or night. We'll be right back over here in a bit. And right over here, we have the well that Chunky could go into where he would be taken to the minecart area. And right next to the well, we have the giant tomato that Chunky helped in Donkey Kong 64. So in this level, I hit 10 one-up mushrooms, which are supposed to be golden bananas. Can you find them all? This is a very large level in Donkey Kong 64, so I couldn't really fit the entire thing onto Super Mario Maker. I couldn't fit Chunky Kong's minecart area or the area where Funky Kong was at. So as you can see, when we entered the pipe, the level turned to nighttime. So I recreated the whole entire level during nighttime too. And just like in Donkey Kong 64, some areas are only accessible during the day, while others during the night only. I hid 5 1-up mushrooms in the day area and 5 in the nighttime area. So the custom sound I used for this level is a little theme that would play in Donkey Kong 64 when you solve the puzzle correctly. So we're going to be heading to the middle area next. There were a lot of barn houses here in Donkey Kong 64. And here's the main barn house that had the water wheel. I even added the water wheel and the climbable chain that was connected to the roof of the house. And this is the attic room that Lanky Kong would visit. In Donkey Kong 64, Lanky Kong had to fight a whole bunch of enemies here in order to win a golden banana. So let's continue on to the level. And right over there, we have another well. It was basically the exit of Chunky Kong's minecart area. And this is the barn house that was covered in poison ivy. The only way Donkey Kong could get in there was by becoming Strong Kong. Okay, now that we're Strong Kong, let's go see what's inside this barn. In Donkey Kong 64, you can find a banana fairy in here, as well as a bonus barrel. Either that, or it was just a plain golden banana. So anyways, let's go make it daytime again. We don't have to go all the way back to the main area, we could just enter this pipe. So let's go see what's different now, now that it's daytime. Looks like we could now enter the main area of this barn. So let's go see what's inside. So in Donkey Kong 64, there was a conveyor belt in this room, as well as a whole bunch of boxes. So let's try and get that golden banana right there. Alright, so let's move on now. I think it's about time to visit the giant mushroom now. So I replaced the poison ivy barn during the daytime, with the barn that Diddy Kong went into that was pretty dark. Alright, so we finally made it to the giant mushroom area. 
Hmm, so I wonder how we're gonna climb the giant mushroom. All right, so now that we're up here, let's go see what's inside that door. Oh man, I lost my Donkey Kong suit. So this is that mushroom puzzle room that Lanky Kong went into, but I'll let you figure out by yourself how to get that golden banana over there. So let's go explore a bit more and see what else we can find. Hey look, it's Cranky Kong's lab. Before we enter, let's go grab ourselves another mystery mushroom first. Alright, so let's go see what's inside Cranky Kong's lab. Oh look, it's a bonus barrel. Alright, so it looks like we can't beat this bonus barrel yet until we find the Goomba shoe. Meh, whatever. Let's go inside the giant mushroom finally. Alright, so we finally made it inside the giant mushroom. Let's go see what's on top. I couldn't do too much here since this giant mushroom is, well, too big. So I didn't have that much area to work with, but oh well, I tried my best. Hey, we found the Goomba shoe. Maybe we could beat the bonus barrel from earlier now. So here we are, on top of the giant mushroom. And we found another golden banana too. All right, so let's head back to Cranky Kong's lab. All right, so let's go see what we could win inside this bonus barrel. Hey, look! We're Donkey Kong Jr. now! This is actually the only place in this entire level where we can find this mystery mushroom. Alright, so let's go make it nighttime now. Alright, so let's go see what's going on over here during the night. Man! It seems like during the night, the enemies are more tougher over here. So originally, I was going to represent Lanky Kong by using the weird mushroom. And I was going to represent Chunky Kong by using the giant Super Mario Anniversary mushroom. Oh man, I probably shouldn't have done that. And look, another golden banana. I didn't show off all the golden banana locations. That's up to you if you decide on playing this level. All right, so let's finally go finish this level up. I think my favorite level in Donkey Kong 64 is Crystal Caves. Apparently, a lot of people dislike that level. I don't really know why though. I thought that level was pretty fun, plus the music in that level was pretty good too. Alright, so this is the final area of my level. It's loosely based on the area where you would race the rabbit. On the left we have the tree stump, and in the center we have the rabbit's house. And behind the flagpole, we have the giant tree where the owl would be sleeping at. And there we go, we finished the level. So if you want to download or play this level, just enter the code shown on screen right now. I'm not quite sure what levels I'm going to be making next, but I want to make more Banjo-Kazooie levels and Ocarina of Time levels too. So thanks for watching, and like always, I'll see you guys next time.